Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ActiveOS. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to manage or how to delete tasks which are already present but they are sitting either idle or they are not a proper task or they might be an orphan task. Or there could be a several cases where your task operation might be in a hung state and we would like to we would like to delete such tasks that is one activity the other activity is how can how can we optimize that deletion process so those are the things we are going to see in today's tutorial so let's go ahead and start today's tutorial so i have already logged in to the activos console in order to maintain any task maintain means I'm trying to say um, if you want to delete or if you want to change the status of any task it is nothing but the administration administrative activity that is the reason we have to go to the admin tab once you click to the admin tab it will take us to our next screen which shows what are the administration you can do you can check the server status you can check the license information etc and at end you will see a task called as a maintenance what is this maintenance is doing it is used to view and configure process scheduling and storage so that means under maintenance we might see several options one could be scheduling related activity the other could be storage related storage means maintaining the task like deletion etc now we can see under maintenance there are two major activities present process scheduling and storage maintenance let's go ahead and click storage maintenance this storage maintenance is used to view and manage storage and configure schedule maintenance so let's so that means we can manage the task as well as we can automate that task activity using this storage maintenance let's go ahead and click this storage maintenance so what are the things available very basic things available that is JND location based on your environment this property might change but normally it is Java JDBC active OS. database type is Oracle so behind the scene we are using Oracle to store the active OS schema under this storage section we have the maintenance subsection which has two tabs one is called manual second is called schedule let's concentrate on manual part in the manual we can delete all the completed and faulted task so this process particularly it will delete completed and faulted process we'll see what type of process is available but for now let's assume there are two types of process one is the processes which are completed processes which are faulted but you have to choose one option in this first section for example if you want to delete the tasks which are completed before April 12th you have to select this date and click on delete so it will delete those tasks which are completed before this date as well as it will delete the faulted process before this date the other way of deletion is delete offline contributions this section allows for deleting of offline contribution that no longer have completed process tied to them so there could be a several tasks which are system generated uh, tasks which sitting over there such tasks we don't need to maintain and here is the option to get rid of such offline tasks so we can delete it and so that our server will be having more enough memory or more enough processing power to work on actual tasks the third option we have is deleting actual logs file so we know there are two types of logs one is deployment log and second is a server log 
So in order to delete server log, I am specifically mentioning it's not deployment log, it is server logs. This option is helpful. So by that, by this way, we actually helping our file system to maintain it properly. So that means eventually, whenever we talk about the file system, that is nothing but our storage. So we'll be helping our storage to maintain it properly by deleting log files. So this delete server log option clears the server log table. The server log can be viewed under server monitoring section. You have to just select this, click this delete button and it will delete. Now those are basic things, basic components. You can just free up very quickly those resources. Now if you want to do these activities in automation way, so that means you have to schedule a activity like for example I want to delete all faulted tasks every hour or every two hour how can I do that so here is the scheduler comes into the picture how can we schedule it let's go ahead and do see that click on the scheduled tab and it will show us various options so what is the frequency we are looking for means are you looking for deleting activity intraday or daily weekly or monthly as I'm, i would like to clear all my faulted processes once in a month okay so when you select month it will give us options such as first second third fourth and last and what next we getting the day which day you want to delete like first Sunday or last Sunday second Sunday etc at what time you want to start this process you can select that time as well here is option you can select the time you can clear you can put now click OK if you select the intraday that means you want to delete like certain hour frequency like one hour or one minute or suppose I want to do like intraday after three minutes or after three hours every three hours this process will execute what this process I'm referring the process nothing but for example let me do this intraday make it one hour we can start like suppose 12 a.m. and click OK and then you can select one of this process contribution and process delete option delete offline contribution if you want to delete that delete completed processes you can select this but I just want to delete faulted process if that is the case, select the checkbox corresponding to delete faulted process and that's it. So this process will run intraday every one hour. F default process retention. So this process will be retained for a day. You can change the time either hours or minutes as per your need. I'll keep default that is one day. Click on update. So this process will updated and will run after uh, every one hour and it will start at 12 a.m. If you want to execute this process right this moment, just click on run now. It will execute this process right this moment. And that's it. You, are, you can schedule deletion process automatically or you can if you want to delete those activities just go to the manual select the date which is before this and you can select future date also there is no problem you can select that too. and just click delete it will delete those completed and faulted processes so by this way we can manage completed and faulted processes 
also we can clear the log files manually. The other way to automate this process we can go to the schedule maintenance tab and we can configure the schedule. With this schedule option we can delete the task which are faulted process or which can be completed process. I hope this tutorial is going to help you to configure and to use manual as well as schedule maintenance section. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. If you have any questions and you would like to reach out to me, you can definitely email me or you can subscribe my channel so that I can immediately reply to you. If you like this video, definitely then I would like I, I would request to like this video. Thank you again for watching this video. Have a nice time.